Hey guys, Zenboro here again. And I'm coming at you with another horror film called Jacob's Ladder, which uh, I had never seen before, but it, I gotta say, a lot of people are right, this film is pretty good. So it's a movie about a Vietnam War vet, and he suffers from these quote-unquote hallucinations, which depending on how you interpret the film, um, that might be what's happening, but the movie's pretty open-ended in how you interpret it, as I talk about rather longly in my written review. But uh, I like the film a lot. It gave me some things to think about, and I can also see where the video game series Silent Hill got its visual and thematic inspiration from. Everything from like the, the bobbing heads and the psychological horror aspect of Silent Hill. Uh, Silent Hill just took a lot of those ideas from Jacob's Ladder and I thought that was pretty cool because during the film I thought I was watching another Silent Hill movie but it was a movie in 1990 about a, a Vietnam War vet <laughs> and, and the monsters he encounters so in a way I kinda of think the Silent Hill uh, I think there were two Silent Hill films I kind of think you don't really need those. If you want to look, if you want to watch something that's Silent Hill inspired, or, or, not Silent Hill inspired, but rather, the film that inspired Silent Hill, um, I would definitely recommend Jacob's Ladder. <laughs> and I'm not just recommending that for Silent Hill fans either. If you have not seen this film, uh and you like horror, you're gonna like this one. And hell, um, even if you're not a horror fan, this film has, there's a ton of philosophical interpretations you can come with in this film. And um, I think that's one of the things I liked about it was you had like these horror aspects but then you also had these these mystical ideas in the film as well, and I think that I don't know I I haven't really watched a film like that in a while. Even a film like uh, most recently, well, it's a little old, like a few years old now. But Into the Void kind of has this similar idea of like near death experience. But I think this film, I think Jacob Slatter actually portrayed it like in a more compelling way than Into the Void. And uh, I could see where a film like Seven um, might have taken some of its visual inspiration because Jacob's Ladder is also set in a, a dreary like metropolis, in this case New York. And Seven I think is in the same city unless I'm wrong, but yeah, it was kind of hard to shake off the feeling that, like, wait, am I watching another version of Seven? But it, it's not Seven. <laughs> this film came out before Seven. So I think Jacob's Ladder might have inspired a lot of different types of media. And, you know, I think that's pretty cool. We need more films like this that um, where people come together and they're like, like, hey, um... So we don't know what's really going on in, in this story. You kind of have to figure it out for yourself. They don't really spoon feed you. And, and like, don't let the ending throw you off because um, there are other points in the film where you're just like, wait a minute, is this really what happened? Or or is it all in this guy's head? Or, or is, did he, like, traverse the purgatory... I mean, those are the questions I had, and I overthink a lot of things. So, Jacob's Ladder, it's pretty good. Um, hell, I'm probably going to rewatch it again. And um, 
yeah, so that's my review from Zen Boro. And <clears throat> we'll see you next time at the movies.